Today we're going to look at the addition and subtraction algorithms. An algorithm is just a procedure. It's a set of steps that we can follow to try and uh, solve a problem or to uh, work through a uh, situation that we have. The word algorithm is, uh, is Arabic derived as are a lot of uh, words that we use in mathematics and some in science as well. So firstly the addition algorithm, we need to arrange the numbers vertically so that their place values line up. We need to add the digits in the same column, we start with the ones, then we move to the tens, the hundreds and any other place values that we have. Any time that we get the digits adding to more than nine, we can add an additional place value to the next column as we've essentially counted up to the next place value. So for our example here, we've got 234 plus 192. Firstly, I've arranged the numbers vertically and you can see their place values line up. The ones line up in this column, the two, the tens line up in this column, the hundreds line up in this column. So firstly, we add the digits in the same column, starting with the ones here. So the ones, four plus two is equal to six there. 3 plus 9 is equal to 12, so we've added up to more than 9, so that means we need to put the 2 down in the tens column here, and because we've essentially counted up, we've gone, I've, I've got 3, and then I'm counting up, adding more and more and more, oh, I've got up uh, to more than 9, I need to put another place value in the next column and keep adding, okay, so we add a 1 to the top of the place value here at the top of the next one. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 1 is 4. So our answer is 426 when we add 2, 134 and 192. Our subtraction algorithm is similar but it has some slight differences. We still arrange the numbers vertically so that their place values line up uh, and we still subtract them in order starting with the ones. Uh, and then moving to the tens and moving to the hundreds. However, if we get any columns subtracting to less than zero, we need to do a bit of rearranging with the digits in the first number to make sure that we can, uh, we can subtract uh, and get a positive number. So we essentially modify the top number to um, incorporate one of the place values from one of the values higher into the, uh, into the um, the column that we are trying to subtract. So here we've got an example here, 259 minus 182. So firstly, once again, I've arranged them so that their place values line up. We're going to start with the ones. 9 subtract 2 is going to be 7. So 9 subtract 2 is going to be 7. Now I've got 5 subtract 8. That's going to be less than 0. So what I need to do is I need to rearrange my number. So uh, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, rearrange the numbers so that I um, use one of the higher place values here. So I'm going to take one of the higher place values and that will become 1. And this place, uh, and then this value here will become 15. 15 there. So what I've done, I've rearranged it so that 25 has become 15 in the 1s plus 10 in the in the column, in, in the hundreds. So 15, sorry, in the tens column here. So this is the same as saying, well, uh, 250, the 2 and the 5 here, 200 and the, and, and the 50, is 2 lots of the 100 plus 1 lot of 50. That's the same as saying, well, hey, I've got 1 lot of 100 plus 150, or 15 lots of 10. 150, they add to the same amount. So 100 plus 150 is the same as 200 plus 50. So they're exactly the same number. We're not changing the number at all. We're just rearranging them. So here, 15 subtracting eight away from 15 is going to give us seven. And one subtract one is zero. So we can leave that blank. So 259, Subtracting away 182 is the same as 77. So I've got some examples here. We're being asked to evaluate some additions and some subtractions. To evaluate means to 
find a value for. It's very important to be careful with this word because in different contexts, in different situations, it can mean different things. When we're asked to evaluate in mathematics a number sentence like this, it means to find a value for it. So here we've got our first one, 26 plus 66. I've arranged them in order. 6 plus 6 is 12. So I've placed the 2 in the 1s column there and we have added another place value to the 10s column. So that's 1 plus 2 plus 6, which is equal to 9. For our next question here, 439 plus 172. I've arranged them vertically, so the place numbers line up. We start with the 1s column, 9 plus 2 is 11. So I place the 1 in the 1s column down here from the, the 1 of the 11, the 1s in the 11, and carry the 1 in the 10s over to the 10s column here, uh, and we add it to 1 plus 3 plus 7 is 11 again, so we do the same thing. Place the 1 down here from the 1 in the, 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 one in the 1s column from the 11, and get the 1 from the 10s column, and place it into the next place value over and add it to the next place value. So here, adding up these pla these uh, numbers in, the, in, in this column, we get 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. So 439 plus 172 is 611. Here we've got uh, four, uh, 74 minus 15. Now, 4 minus 5 is going to be less. So we've arranged it, same. We're looking at the ones, but if I try and subtract five away from four, I'm gonna get less than zero. So I need to do the rearranging again. So the seven becomes a six. I'm gonna take that one place value, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add that one place value onto my, my four, so I get 14. So 14 take five is nine. Now I'm left with my six here, so six minus one is five. So uh, 74 minus 15 is 59. Now here's a little bit of a tricky one, this 3004 minus 16. Now I need to do the same thing again because um, once I've arranged these and I've lined them up, so the ones are in the ones column, tens in the tens column, this 16 doesn't have any in the hundreds or thousands, so that's okay. I cannot subtract uh, six away from four, uh, it will become less than zero. So I need to borrow, but it looks like I don't have any values to borrow from. When in reality, I do have uh, some tens to borrow from to, to rearrange. I've got 300 of them. So if I've got one, I've got all this 300 tens values, okay? One less than the 300 tens values is 299. Okay, so one taken away from 300 is 299. So I've removed that one place value from 300, the 300 tens here, and I've added it onto the ones here. So I've got 14 subtracting away six, 14 takes six is eight. Then I've got, uh, moving over to the next column, nine minus one is eight as well, and 20, uh, nine minus zero is nine, and two minus zero is two. So the 3,004 subtract 16 is 2,988.